What's up, guys? Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest podcast and channel. Thanks for being here, being sub. If you're not, hit the button. And if you're listening on YouTube, hit the like. It's like walking in the room and hitting that light switch. Let's brighten up the place and get into this conversation. Now, I don't know what to think about this supposed lost words of Kim Porter, but what I do know is that guy he definitely got a lot of people (laughs) and now people are requesting their refunds from amazon listen when i heard that this book was out on amazon of course i was interested but something in me was just like i don't know if this is really real it just doesn't make sense especially the way that it was rolled out because i don't I don't, I don't find it a coincidence that as soon as Diddy is locked up, this book, alleged book of hers is released. But the way that it was done, it, it was the way that it was done. And also not saying that it shouldn't cost a pretty penny, but the price of it, and it was just, you know, on Amazon. I'm like, I don't know. I feel like somebody is trying to get over and get by and then (laughs) Albie Shore comes out to say that that is not her real words now I do believe that multiple things can be true because some people were like well you know it's kind of ironic that Albie Shore was claiming before it was released that this was you know potentially her stuff But then when there, you know, turns out to be stuff in there about him in this that were not flattering, shall we say, (laughs) because I heard some stuff, then now he's saying that that is not real. It's a fake. So listen, I don't know, but I, I, I know that people got their money off of it. The people who bought it that was using it as content 100% hope you got at least I will say I hope they got their money because I don't know if the if the things that they were reading unless they were using different phrases and, and stuff like that for the things that were described in that book was monetized because I didn't listen to anybody that was reading it on YouTube but I was speaking actually with one of my clients who actually got the book and she was telling me about a lot of the stuff that was in there and she was like oh my god I forgot I meant to send you a copy of it And I said, no, it's cool. If I wanted, you know, I can get it myself. And I haven't. Because I just don't think that if she actually has a book, which I do believe that she wrote some stuff, that it would be rolled out the way that it was rolled out. I don't believe that it would be done that way. So with all of that being said, I will have some compassion for her children. Now... Kim is no longer here, unfortunately. May she rest in peace. Gone way too soon. Definitely, she left behind four beautiful children. As much as their father may be corrupt and demonic, she gave birth to these children. And there were some things that I was told that was in that book that is extremely disgusting even about her and I'm not saying that if she did write a book that she wouldn't share things that she experienced that were horrible or that may even make her look bad as well because of some of the choices that she made or maybe even the things that she was forced to do because that's one of the reasons why a lot of women who have been taken advantage of who have been harmed physically by men, whether it was in a sexual way or just by their hands, won't come forward is even though they were a victim, it is embarrassing. It shouldn't be, 
but society does put shame on women because they question them, well, why did you do that? Why were you there? Why did you have on what you had on? If you, were, if you weren't down for it, then what? You know, like, the questions shouldn't even be asked, but unfortunately, they are. It, it's even like when I was talking about his most recent victim to come forward. She's not the most recent victim, but she's the most recent to come forward. Talia, the one who did the press conference with her attorney, Gloria Allred, she talked about the shame and the backlash and the threats and things that she received all because of her her situation being a victim and being victimized by allegedly Diddy and his bodyguard. It's crazy. But this is what women endure. And so, I'm, you know, thankfully, oh, I was about to say something, but I'm not even going to go there because it's, it may be not the way it is in some other countries, like in these Muslim Arab countries and these Indian countries where women are literally sometimes stoned. Like this stuff still happens in present day in other countries. They're stoned, they're put to death, they are quote unquote honorably, <laughs> which is ridiculous, but they call it, they're honorably snuffed out because they were attacked sexually. It's just disgusting. But this is how the world views women in different hemispheres the level of intensity may not be as it is in other hemispheres, but it's terribly handled all across the board. So I'm saying all of that to say, a lot of the things that are in the book may indeed actually be true, but I still don't believe that it would have came out the way that it came out and by the person that, that wrote it. That person, I believe, is an opportunist. I don't believe that Kim Porter's family would have allowed this book to come out the way that it did, especially with some of the things that were in it because some of the things that were in the book are about her children that are still here. But I don't know. I, I don't know the full story. I guess we'll see what all comes out as this story continues to unfold. But... Her children are confirming that this quote unquote tell all it's not true and that people are making a spectacle of her death. And I do believe that in some ways that is unfortunately taking place. Whether people realize it or intend for it to be that way or not, that is really what's going on because it's just something in me where it just felt wrong to sit and listen to content creators who were sitting and reading the book getting all of the views and things like that off of this alleged story. I just I just couldn't do it, so I haven't. I'm not here to judge anybody that did, but I'm just saying what I couldn't allow my ears to sit and listen to. Now, like I said, my client was telling me about some of the things that was in it because she, she read the book, but that was a personal conversation that she and I had with each other. It wasn't me reading the book, a live reading or pre-recorded and putting it on YouTube or whatever. Like, I just couldn't do it because something in me just felt like it's it's fishy. And then this comes out that this supposedly is not her work. I just don't believe that her family would have allowed this to take place. And so now it's potentially going to be a lawsuit against this person. We'll see what comes of that. But um, even with all of that being said, it doesn't mean that some of the things that are in the book are not true. So I'm not saying that everything that's in the book is not true. I'm just saying that this has been confirmed to not be her work. So we have to honor and respect her family and not just be like, oh, well, <laughs> we don't care. These, we believe, are her words. It was alleged that she has this book. And so now it's out there and they're just mad. No, I just don't believe that that would be the way that it would have been handled. So I don't know. You guys let me know your thoughts about the book. Did you read it? Do you believe the things that are in it? Or do you think that the family is just reacting because they don't like the things that are in there and they're trying to cover for Kim as well as themselves? 
And also, what do you feel about the person that wrote the book? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for being here, liking, and subscribing. I'm Beth, just being beautifully honest. So until next time, I wanted to keep it brief, beautiful, and now I'm going to say bye.